let go of expectations, relax. You see, it's the, it's the spontaneous wisdom. I mean, it's spontaneous purification aspects of the teaching. Remember the two aspects of the teaching: wisdom, purification. The purification is the relaxation, the letting go of expectations, the letting go of trying to do this, trying to do that. The movement towards something is called desire. The movement away from something is called fear. It's the same movement, yeah? See, so if you're moving away from here, because I'm afraid of this, going over here. That's fear. I'm afraid of this. I'm moving away. If I'm moving towards something here. I'm moving towards that. It's the same movement. Desire, fear. This egoic movement of desire, fear, where I'm trying to go somewhere. I'm either trying to get away from something that I'm afraid of or go towards something I want. This is desire fear. And that one process, desire fear, one movement. The letting go of that is called purification. Or letting go, becoming at peace, allowing peace to arise naturally. Spontaneous. In this case, for Mary, it came through wisdom. It didn't. Mary didn't say, "I'm going to try and let go." Mary heard a word, heard a phrase, said, "You can't. This is this whole thing is doesn't make sense." And then, oh, yeah. Tom doesn't understand it. He's meant to understand it. And he doesn't understand it. Oh, and I don't understand it. Phew. So the letting into through wisdom, there's a spontaneous purification. So, the movement of the ego, which is this movement I signified with my hands, ego design. When the egoic movement doesn't stop, it doesn't matter. <laughs> when the egoic movement, when the ego is ego is going full throttle, desire, no problem. Just an appearance of ego. There's never any real ego. But then there's the other aspect of the teaching, the wisdom aspect of the teaching. So how does that fit into what Mary was saying? Let's have a look. So what could happen is that someone has a sense of oh, letting go. So now instead of moving, they're at rest. There can be a, still a sense of a me. Whether I'm at rest or I'm moving, there can still be a sense of me. A latent concept, a dormant concept there. So, oh yeah, now, now I've let go. Now I'm at rest. So the insights say, no, there's no one here. There's no one that let go. Just spontaneous letting go. So then, there's never a me. That's the wisdom. Spontaneously arising wisdom. When we look, it's when we look and relax, we're not trying to achieve a certain type of knowledge. We're not trying to achieve a certain state of mind or consciousness. In wisdom, there's nothing here, no one here. In the light of having heard the teachings, this wisdom spontaneously arises. It can arise without having heard the teachings too. But because the concepts are often so strong, the identification as a mere is so strong, it tends not to arise without having heard the teachings. Wisdom is more likely to spontaneously arise if you're at peace. And then, so at the beginning of the session, I always do a short generating peace exercise, don't I? I don't call it that. That's what we do. We relax. We give thanks for the meeting, for being here together. 
We give our appreciation and mutual respect to each other. We actually send gratitude and love towards each other and we become peaceful. It fills us up with wholesome feelings. The mind becomes still. Insight is now more easy to attain. When the insight's attained, aha, uh -huh, purification happens. Purification just means not needing anything. And if there is a need for any something, then that's fine too. 